and he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. I read this from uh, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14. That's verse number 35. And this is the time when Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane after the what we call the Last Supper. And uh, I consider this to be the, the battle lines drawn. Spiritual uh, warfare is taking place here. The devil has pulled out all the stops because he knows this is the place to defeat him. And Jesus makes this tremendous statement. He said that this hour could pass. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to consider this hour. I mean, this is a moment of time like no other moment of time. I mean, you think of all of the historical things that have taken place throughout history, all of the, the tremendous battles, the, the times of, of great tragedy and great triumph in the annals of history. There was never a moment of time like this moment of time. And Jesus has prayed this prayer. He said that this moment could pass. I mean, you have to think about the ramifications of this. If, if God had granted that prayer, that this moment in time would pass without the result that was accomplished, I mean, it's hard to even fathom what that would entail, what that would represent. Because we're talking about the salvation of all of mankind. We're talking about the greatest spiritual triumph ever where the Son of Man has withstood this tremendous spiritual onslaught and has defeated the enemy. I mean, it is incredible. Because, I mean, you, you look at what all takes place here as described to us in, in the Gospels, how the, the, the prayer was so intense, the effects so tremendous on the body of Jesus that he expired blood. Literally, blood was coming out of his pores because of the great emotional, spiritual intensity that was happening there in that garden. And the fact that God sent angels there to, to bear him up to give him the, the, the needed strength that he needed in order to be able to stand under such tremendous pressure. God did not answer that prayer. Church, I'm telling you, this is so powerful. But yet, we are all so blessed because our Lord and our Savior was able to defeat the enemy there in that garden. Father God, I just give you glory and praise. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.